1998 on an R Jaguar XK convertible in black with a black roof and a cream interior. Electric roof on this one, which we'll show you working at the end of the video. It's the four litre V8 automatic one, this one's the four litre V8. Body weight wise, we're gonna start with the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior. We've got to fire it into life. Of the bonnet itself, lovely and straight for a black car, no big dings or dents across the bonnet. There is a few stone chips and one or two scratches where it's been washed over the years, and one or two just slightly heavier scratches in the paint there, with some swirl marks where it's been washed over the years. Left hand side headlight is crack free. The bumper corner, very, very light scuff scratching on the bumper corner there on the left hand side, which you can see, but the reflector's all good. Across the front of the nose cone, they're all nice and tiny all the way across, one or two little stone chips. And onto the right hand side where you'll see the bumper corner again is scuff free on the right hand side. No nasty colour discrepancy between the bumper and the bonnet, which is fairly common on these Jags. Looks to be one colour. Come round onto the right hand side front wheel arch, nice and tiny around the arch. No corrosion coming through that front wheel arch, all nice and straight there, but like I say, one or two light scratches here and there. There is some surface scratches where it's been washed over your sort of swirl marks. <coughs> Good polish squares those away. Around the wing mirror, nice and tidy on both sides. No corrosion around the, the base, which is normally an issue. And no corrosion around the wind strips here, these grey aluminium trims there. Again, normally quite expensive to replace. That's not the case with this one. All nice and tidy around the windscreen as well. Across the lower half of the sole section, still nice and black, no nasty stone guard lines half at the door. Nice and tidy down the driver's door with no major dings or dents or heavy scratching around the handle. One or two little chips out the back edge of the door, but that's all you can really complain about. Onto the rear arch at the lower half there, a few little blebs coming through underneath the paint on the rear arch. And as you come further around, you can see them there on the camera. Sort of harder to notice when it's black, you can't see what the back there, a little bit of staining coming out of that one. The rest of the quarters nice and straight with one or two. Slightly heavy scratches here and there. Wants good polish in places for a black car, just to bring it back a little bit. There's a few bird poo marks across the boot there. A few little tree sap marks again. Nice polish would sort those out, I would think. Rear lights nice and clear. A few little bits just starting at the back of the bumper underneath there where they normally go. Bumper corner is all good, reflectors nice. All the way across the boot there, nice and straight. Nice and tidy on the left hand side, rear light as well. And in the seams, no corrosion coming through there. Across the back of the boot again, nice and tidy all the way across there. Coming round and down the left hand side rear quarter, good across the top. Again, one or two little tree sap marks, which you can see in the paint there. Good round the fuel filler cap with a few slightly heavier scratches towards the front. And round that rear arch, same places on the left hand side as well. And a few more underneath the paint there, at the front of the arch on the left hand side that haven't broken through. Again, nice and straight down the sill section and down that left hand side door, nice and tidy. No heavy scratching around the handle or around the back edge of the door. Wing mirror cap again, crack free on both sides. Nice and level across the left hand side as we hit the front wing. Once again, no corrosion coming through that front arch there. Nice and tidy all the way around. Nice and straight for dings and dents down the left hand side as well. Onto the interior, comes with the black tonneau. Nice and straight across the tonneau. Door card itself, nice and tidy with a little bit of sagging to the cloth section there. A little bit of wear to the, to the grab handle, which is pretty standard. Driver's seat itself, nice and tidy. Minimal wear really to the lower half section there. A little bit of creasing towards the top of the seat there, but no rips or tears at all in that. The lovely half wood wheel's got no delamination to the top. Dark wood all the way across, again, no delamination or splitting to the lack. I love it straight down the centre console. Around the armrest is good as well with minimal wear. Rear seats, like most Jags, proving unused really, more than anything. Into the boot. I'm just gonna pop that open. Got some mud guards there, boot carpet's all okay. You've got your six stack, Jaguar six stack there. Space saver spare wheel is there as well. So we come round onto that left hand side front door card. Again, nice and tight on the door, no, no rips or tears, no sagging to the cloth on the left hand side. You've got a nice rubber Jaguar mat in there as well. The seat itself, once again, minimal wear to that left hand side front seat there, all nice and tidy. And again in the rear, all loving straight across the rear. Bit of fluff there, no marks at all on that nice place to be with that dark wood. 
onto the engine bay now. It's the 4 litre V8. James is going to fire it in the life for us. Lovely noise that one, firing straight in the life without any hesitation whatsoever. Pop that bonnet back down and we're going to have a look at this roof going up. Did notice that the roof button itself sort of pinged through the hole. So the roof coming up here. Once it's up, we'll have a look at the condition of that as well. No complaints for that, nice and tidy, nice and straight, no hesitation for the motor, locking it in place and also putting the windows up as it should, that little bit of trim there, pinging off as it comes up. Roof itself warrants a bit of a clean, but we've got no rips or tears on the left hand side, all nice and tidy all the way across. Back windows nice and straight as well, glass back windows so no delamination problems. All nice and straight and taut across the right hand side with no rips and tears, let us say. Wants a little bit of a pressure wash gently in places, but that is all I can really complain about on that there. And there you have it, the 1998 on the R Jaguar SK8 convertible in black with a black roof, cream interior, a 4 litre V8 petrol, that one.